all of this beginning early this morning uh, at the Oak Creek Assembly of God Church, and that's where Pete Servakis has been for our coverage. Pete? Well, Charles, it's been a long emotional day, as you said earlier in the show. That day started with a public visitation and then a funeral service here in Oak Creek. We heard several touching tributes to Officer Matthew Rittner during that service, one of them from his boss, Chief Alfonso Morales. Now, remember, Officer Rittner was killed while serving a search warrant, and Morales began his remarks by discussing the times he would serve search warrants back in the 80s and 90s to suspected drug houses, where he said he was often met by hostile pit bulls. One of them even bit him. He then suddenly shifted the story to the tragic night when he went to Rittner's home to comfort his grieving wife. Listen. After hearing about Matt, my priority was to share my condolences to Caroline and the Rittner family. I rushed over to the house, walked in, and was greeted with a huge hug from Caroline. As this was occurring, out of the corner of my eye, I see a 100-pound pit bull coming right at me. What do you do? What do you say? I hoped it was a nice dog. I still didn't think nothing of it. I still didn't think what the meaning behind that was until I was ready to leave, and Matthew's mother-in-law asked me, if I would take the dog with me. Curious, I asked why. And her response was, Matt rescued him during a search warrant. He was abandoned in the basement of a house. Who in the heck does that? A deed like this. So the chief saying Rittner was a fearless cop, but one also with a kind heart. Now we can tell you that after the funeral service, that procession that you saw uh, over by Tom in Brookfield left here, the hearse carrying Rittner's body left the grounds at the church about 4.15. It wasn't until about uh, 40 minutes or so later that the final law enforcement vehicle in that procession left Oak Creek Assembly of God. Just to give you an idea of how many vehicles there were in that lineup of cars and how long it took just for them to depart the grounds here. Live in Oak Creek, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4.